Is Marseille dangerous? Will you feel safe if you vacation there? Is it worth your time? Your hard-earned holiday money? I know what I think. But the best I can do is share my personal experience from the week I spent there this summer and let you form your own opinion. This reputation of Marseille being a dangerous city was totally unknown to me. Marseille was our second stop on a South of France road trip, sandwiched between a castle stay in Lyon and visiting family in Toulouse. It wasn't until we arrived in France and I told my in-laws that we would be going to Marseille, and our French family were like, why? <laughs> the honest answer is, earlier this year, my mother-in-law suddenly passed away, and we needed to go somewhere my partner could just unplug and grieve. Since we would already be in Lyon that summer for a wedding, I searched and searched for picturesque countryside Airbnbs in France where we could hide away for a week. But nowhere seemed to fit the bill. Either it was too expensive, wasn't the right dates, too hard to get to, flights too pricey, until... in Marseille. More specifically, we were in Lestac, a tiny village in the 16th arrondissement, just on the edge of the city limit. We did visit Marseille city center for a day, which you'll certainly get to see in this vlog. Lunch with a view. But interestingly, I find that some of the beauty that makes Marseille worth visiting is found in the outer surrounding areas of the city. The bungalow was everything we needed and more. Insane views over Marseille. Serenity. Nature. Beauty. Peace. Like I said, everything we needed. Marseille. I found this little bungalow that's perched on the cliffs in Marseille, overlooks the port, close to the beach. And when I went on Airbnb, it just so happened that this place was fully booked, except for the exact dates that we needed. So here we are. And when we got here, a nice little surprise. A little punch pool. Which is amazing because it obviously is very hot. What do you reckon, baby? It's like uh, 35 degrees? Okay, but that might be like 90 something Fahrenheit. It's hot up here, so this is a really wonderful surprise because otherwise, in order to cool down, you need to go to the beach. And like, the beach is maybe like a nine minute drive, maybe shorter, but it's like a 30 minute walk because we're like up in the cliffs, you know? So the fact that we can cool down here without having to go to the beach is really, really nice. 
What do you think about the bungalow itself? Oh, the bungalow is super cute. Like, I feel like this place is really like indoor outdoor living. The bungalow itself is cozy and small. So you just naturally leave the doors open and everything that's outside you feel like is an extension of the home. You know, like the breakfast table is outside, dining table is outside, hammock outside for lounging. There's a lower level terrace that has like a very big sofa and couch. So, I mean, the place is like amazing. And the host is like super host. Airbnb kind of tricks you into conversing with people because it automatically translates languages so then when you show up and then the person messages you and is like give me a call and you give them a call and they're like bonjour and you're like uh vous parlez anglais and they were like no so <laughs> then I really had to bust out all of my beginner French from a couple of years ago to get through the like 20 minute orientation of like this is where you do this, this is where you find this blah blah blah. But it was, somehow we managed when we got through and it was actually fine. I understood a lot more than I like thought I would. Um and you know these French people, all of them actually do speak English, but they just like don't want to. So because when I walked away for a moment to go to the bathroom and like she was just left standing there with Faye, all of a sudden she was fluent in English. So <laughs> just saying. But no, she's really, really nice very approachable she's like contact me other time she lives just downstairs um she has like a little um area where she has pet turtles and they have like a really nice little home are you enjoying it baby yes nice Bonjour à tous! So we are still in Marseille and we are on our way to the port closest to our Airbnb to grab a ticket to go across the bay to the Old Town. I think this should be a fun little experience. Is this the right way, baby? I don't know, let's see. Um, boat leaves in like five minutes, so. We're not like totally rushing and running trying to catch it. Oh, there it is. It's cute. That's the boat that we're taking. Maybe I should run too. I don't know why he's like running without me. I'm the star of the show here. Why are you running? <laughs> why are you running? Because you started running. <laughs> why are you running? Yeah, why are you running? This is a every vacation. Every time they, they run. Oh, well, every why. time, why? <laughs> no one's leaving. Thank crazy, you. Crazy, crazy boy. Crazy, crazy boy. <laughs> Goodness, look at uh, this. Uh, look at this person who just won't stop filming me. What a stalker! Oh my god, I'm just trying to enjoy my holiday, and he just like won't relax. Oh, wow. we're taking a boat that will go across the Marseille Bay to get us to the old town. Where I think when you think of Marseille and you think of you know, all the cute old little French buildings and stuff, that's where it's gonna be in the old town. So we'll have lunch there. 
and look around the shops and stuff and walk around and yeah, just enjoy. The other thing about Marseille is that like keeping it real, it's like super industrial and also apparently a bit hood as well, but it's fine. A lot of shipping containers and gas and oil and all that kind of stuff coming in and out, so. Damn, this park is gorgeous. So we feel like we've seen a lot of like what Marseille has to offer and it's hot as hell and we just wanna be in the shade and relax. So we found a park and that's exactly what we're gonna do and damn, it's nice. Picture, baby. He's filming me, and I'm filming me. Damn. Matrix. Inception. Maybe just 
this part is cool stuff. Love getting ourselves some rotisserie chicken when we in France. But we like definitely in the hood. I didn't know that like Marseille was the hood for real, y'all. If I don't stand out in this hood ass town <laughs> with my bum bag, my stomach all out, and my bikini, my bright ass, fast fashion, then I don't know what does. Not chill though. It's chill. Anything for the rotisserie. Vlog Diary 539. Another day, another morning of my man harassing me. Just kidding. He just wanted to get to the beach super early and like it. Not super early, so we can park. It's not even 10 o'clock and like. It is 10 o'clock. We're on our way already, so like it's fine, you know. But he was just making a very big deal about it all. Listen, y'all, for those of you who are single who are like, oh my god, I want to be in a relationship so bad, like, take this as a warning. He's always gonna be rushing your ass. So think again! Think again! My most favorite place in the world, surrounded by screaming kids who splash me because that's so what I want to be splashed. Yeah, living my best life. This is a very local beach that we're at because we're not, first off, they're like trying to kill each other back there. It's full of like um, camp, camp counselors, and like one camp counselor has like 15 kids and they bring these like buoys to rope off a little section of the beach for themselves so they can like keep all their kids in that section. So we are staying on the outskirt of Marseille. We're not staying like in the middle of the old town. We're not staying in like Marseille Central. We're staying where like more local people are. So the close beach to us is like more local. Um, but I'm glad that we're staying where we're staying. We're like, ooh girl. We went into Marseille yesterday and like, Marseille got like a whole five blocks of like a really cute little old town and then it starts getting real hood. But that's okay, I don't mind being in the hood, you know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, when you're on holiday and you feel like you in bed or Brixton, it's like, did I really pay all this money to come out here just to be back with my people? <laughs> no, I love my people. But um, yeah, the beach that we're at is very local, so I think we are definitely the odd ones out speaking in English. If you're in Marseille, at the Marseille beach, I'm sure there are plenty of people speaking English because like there's a lot of people holidaying and stuff. But here, okay, let's not get splashed by these little feet. 
But here, you know, we talk a little bit and I feel like the kids are like, bitch, where are you from? Like, that, we had multiple kids come up to us and ask us, like we were not even talking to them and they're like, hi, what do you say? Where are you from? These kids came up to us the other, the yesterday and they were like, Marseille? Marseille or Paris? I'm like, we're in Marseille, so how am I about to say Paris? And I was like, Marseille. And they were like, oh no, that's a bad answer. Cause like Paris is where it's at. And like Marseille sucks and Marseille's the hood. And these kids were like, I was like, where are you from? And they're like, we're from Paris. So I guess they're on holiday down here in Marseille, but they still think Paris is way better. Maybe I'm doing all this talking. Do some playback, watch it back. See if you can even hear me. <laughs> also, all these kids are so fucking noisy. Was I talking to you? Je suis de New York, mais j'habite à Londres. You see, I'm talking to the camera, and he's like, what? What'd you say? I ain't talking to you, little boy. None of your business, little boy. That's a good question. Honestly, spent the entire day at the beach just on the other side of those rocks. We're still at the same local beach, but it's like, what's, what's that, maybe east facing? Yeah. That, that's east facing, the east facing beach. Has a lot, is sandy, like has a lot of sand. As you can see over here, there's like a lot of rocks. Um, so I always love me a sandy beach, but like because it's a sandy beach, that's also clearly where all the kids go. Then when we were leaving, we spent the entire day there and we were leaving, then we just like walked, I don't know, 15 meters to the other side of the rocks. And like this beach just seemed like a freaking oasis after all of that screaming and splashing and everything. And I was just like, damn, why didn't we come here? So now we're not leaving, now we're here. So I can like regain my serenity <laughs> before we head home. Because it's just really beautiful on this side. Here we go. Here we go. Alert, alert, intruder, intruder. <laughs> go back to where you came from, child. Go back to your beach. With a bag of chips and uh, what's the name of it? Butterfly With catcher. a bag of chips and a jellyfish jellyfish catcher. We don't need none of that over here. Lord, now she's about to pollute the whole bay with a bag of chips. Oh Jesus! Here it goes. In the end, did I find Marseille to be dangerous? No. It's just a city. Like all other cities, there's good, there's bad. I've had more experiences feeling quote unquote unsafe in New York. And I'm from New York. <laughs> I hope this vlog makes you rethink any of the statistics you might see online. Marseille came to me during a time when I needed it most. And Marseille delivered. Until next time, guys.